What do you mean by a sample and hold circuit? Well, my name is Rishir Amju and welcome to the Back Major Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term sample and hold circuit? Well, let's find out. So, sample and hold circuit. Just like the name suggests, this is a type of circuit that first samples a particular signal and after sampling the signal, it holds that particular signal. Let me make that very simple for you. So first, let us consider a particular analog signal like this. So let us consider an analog signal f of t, something like this over here. So this is an analog signal. So when we multiply this particular signal with a train of impulses, we get a sampled signal. That is, this upon sampling this particular signal, we would get a sampled signal like this. So here, upon sampling, f dash of t becomes first we would have one sample here, then we would have another 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 sample here, like that it goes on like that. So this is a sample signal. So in the case of a sample and hold circuit, the first part is done. The signal has been sampled. That is what the first part of the circuit does, that is a sample part. So we have now sampled this particular analog signal. So the next part is simply the hold part. So this circuit must hold each of these samples. So what we would observe is that here each of these samples would be holded for a particular period of time like this. So first this sample would be holded like this, then this sample would be holded like this, then this sample would be holded like this and it goes on like this. So this is simply what you refer to as sample and hold circuit. That is first this particular circuit converts a particular analog signal and it samples this particular analog signal and after sampling it, it holds each of these samples for a period of time. So why we do this is because for the purpose of analog to digital conversion, it requires certain amount of time. So it is for this purpose, these samples are holded for that much period of time. This is simply why we use a sample and hold circuit. So the sample part of this circuit samples this particular analog signal like this and the hold part simply just holds each of these samples for a period of time. So the construction of a sample and hold circuit is very 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 simple. So here first this would have a particular switch over here like this. And here, this, here we would give the input over here, that is this particular analog signal is given over here. And now here, we would now connect a particular capacitor over here. And it is across this particular capacitor, we get the output V0. So here, it is based on this particular switch, we decide whether this particular circuit works as a sample circuit or a whole circuit. So here, when this particular switch is turned on like this, when it is here, then we say that this is in the sample mode. So here, when the switch is on, this particular vein is stored inside this particular capacitor and therefore it is now sampled. And now, when this particular switch is turned off, this is in the hold mode and therefore when it is in the hold mode, the whatever is stored inside this particular capacitor, it does not have anywhere to dissipate. So therefore, whatever is stored inside here is holded until this particular switch is again turned on. So this is the simple working mechanism of a sample and hold circuit. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it, as simple as that. So this does is simply what you refer to as a sample and hold circuit. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a sample and hold circuit. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.